Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday morning when I'm filming this, and it's just before 9 a.m. I have a dermatologist appointment today. That's how I am starting off this vlog. I am actually seeing a dermatologist about some moles that I need removed, and also to kind of continue my journey trying to heal my skin. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff on like TikTok about people trying different like creams and methods and stuff like that. And in case you didn't know, I have pretty severe rosacea. I don't, it's severe to me. It's all over my forehead, all over my cheeks, and all over my chin and my nose. So it's kind of spreading across my entire face. I did have a couple laser treatments because it used to just kind of be right here a couple of years ago. And so I got that and then it's just sort of spread throughout the years. And I've always had problematic skin. I have PCOS, so I had really bad acne. And actually my early 20s was like when it was at its worst. I had really bad acne. Um, I have always struggled with like texture. I did get Fraxel laser once. Oh my God, if you were here from that, let me know if you remember those days. But um, it just, it didn't really make any lasting impact on my skin. Um, so I just want to like see someone else again, get another opinion, see what kind of topical stuff is available and just see what my options are because it's getting, it's a progressive disease. So it just continually gets worse and there's no cure. So you just kind of have to like keep it at bay. Anyways, I need to get inside because you're supposed to be there around 9.05. It is 9.01. So, you know, you have to be there a little bit early just to sit there. I have my mask. I have my phone. I did forget my AirPods. So that's going to be frustrating if I, you know, have to sit there for a while. I meant to bring my candle and I just totally forgot. But we're in our sweats. May Gray is in full effect, by the way, in Southern California. It is like so, so cloudy. And it's if it's going to be cloudy, I wish it would rain. Like this whole just like cloudy with no rain thing for half of a month is kind of annoying probably by this afternoon it'll be nice actually yesterday the sun randomly came out at like 4 or 5 p.m so drew and i immediately found a patio got some chips and salsa and a drink because it was so nice to have a nice sunny day so anyway that's enough blabbing i'm gonna head inside go to my durham appointment and we will catch up afterwards and see what happens All right, it's a little less than an hour later. Just got out of my appointment. It was humbling to say the least. Um, she did have to give me three different injections of lidocaine. Like I could just keep feeling it, which was weird. But anyways, um, got a, a mole removed. One that I was kind of concerned about on my stomach. It just, it's like, um, probably fine she said it looks fine but it's just important to get those things checked you know both of my parents have had squamous cell basal cell you know whatever um removed in the past like a few of them so it's better to just err on the side of caution so i got that one removed the rest of them she said look absolutely fine and then as far as the rosacea goes she also prescribed a triple cream to try and get to the root of like the bumps and the texture. And then she said for the redness, really the only thing you can do for rosacea redness is laser treatments. And I've kind of already tried that, but I think I'm gonna try something else. But she did say to try this triple cream for about four months before I go the laser route, just to make sure that I can't solve it with a cream. But yeah, I do have my bandage here where I got my mole removed and I have to leave that on for 24 hours. So luckily I showered right before I came here. And then also for all my girlies out there who struggle with itchy scalp, dandruff, things like that, she did prescribe me a shampoo. What's it called? I don't have a piece of paper for that, but there's some type of, it's like kind of like a shampoo, but she said you put it, it's almost like a treatment for your scalp. You put it on your scalp for like 10 minutes before you shampoo. And so hopefully that will help with the itchiness. And I have a little bit of dandruff, but really it's just like my scalp is just itchy 24 seven. So anywho, that was nice to get that over with and done with. I've actually been waiting for this appointment for like two months. That's how backed up they were, but it feels nice to have that done and over with and just feel like I'm taking care of myself. You know, it was deeply humbling. Like I said, to just be laying there like naked on this table and she's going through through all the nooks and crannies of my body. And then also like I get really nervous on exam tables. And so I was like sweating, like actually sweating. Like I was scared. Luckily she had gloves on. I was like scared she was gonna be like, are you okay? <laughs> like I had like sweat on my back. I feel like when I laid down on the table, the like paper was sticking to my back. I was just like, 
Oh my, this is so humbling. Anyway, I'm gonna pay for my parking because they don't validate in this parking garage and then we will continue on with our day. But at least that is over and done with and it's not even 10 a.m. Good morning, everybody. It is now Monday morning. We had a wonderful weekend, lots of stuff going on. We did some house hunting, apartment hunting, and it was, you know, we've been getting a lot of strikeouts. So we've decided after going back and forth about it, pros and cons, etc., that we're just gonna take a break for the time being from house hunting. It seems like a just really competitive, crazy time. And also we wanna travel this summer and there are just things that, you know, now that we have a month to month lease that we wanna take advantage of. So we're gonna take a pause on that for now. No one asked, but since I've been talking about it, you know, I thought I would share and maybe in the next vlog or in an upcoming vlog, I will show all of the apartment tours that we took because I think I filmed probably like six or seven of them. So I thought that might be interesting, um, but yeah. So all in all, great weekend. Went to the beach, went on some dates. Uh, we fixed up our garden in the backyard. We replanted some like vegetables and herbs and stuff in the garden in the backyard. And overall had a great time. So now it is Monday morning and today is gonna be my like life admin day. I'm actually just walking to my doctor's office, but I just thought I would stop and take a moment. I'm actually heading to another dermatologist's office and this is the dermatology office. I'm not covered under their insurance, but they do my like Botox and stuff. I think it's important to be honest about that kind of stuff. I probably get Botox like twice a year, I would say, ish. I think the last time I got Botox was September of 2023. So it's been a good like seven, eight months. So I'm gonna get it topped up. I actually got a couple of comments recently of people saying like, oh, I see you got your lips refilled. I have not. I have actually only gotten lip filler one time in November of 2022, and that is the last time. So sometimes I wear gloss and they look bigger, but yeah, um, I just thought that, you know, I would normalize the process. I am gonna go get Botox this morning. I get it a little bit in my 11s and a little bit in my forehead. Um, I don't know how many units, but I always am like probably very annoying to the injector being like, I want it to be very, very natural, very natural. And they're like, okay, we get it, natural. So yeah, I am going to head off, get that touched up, I mean, it's my fault, I'm standing on the street. But I decided to walk to my appointment this morning because it's just so beautiful out. I mean, the May Gray is still happening in the mornings, but it's just such beautiful weather. Like, I can't believe it's 60 something degrees in the middle, almost end of May. It's crazy. Um, and then later today, I need to um, go get my nails done because it's time. It's time to get these switched up. I love this color. I may end up getting it again, we'll see. I need to get my oil changed in my car. And then I also have an appointment at the Apple store because my laptop is on the fritz. So that is the plan for today. So I wish I could show you my outfit, but there's nowhere to set my phone down. So maybe I'll show you later, but let's head off and have a productive day of getting our ish together because I'm not good at that. And so maybe by me showing myself doing it, it'll encourage you to do the same. Let's go. JK, I found a ledge. Here's my OOTD, very simple black pants, white tee, and a denim jacket and my red gazelles. And my favorite way to accessorize my outfits lately is by wearing a gigantic oversized pair of glasses. It makes me so happy. All right, it's a little while later. I have redone my makeup where you know, the little spots where I'm, I think like a tiny bit swollen, but it's fine. Um, the injector, the doctor told me that I was able to put on makeup when I got home, so it's fine. But um, yeah, listen to your own doctor. So easy peasy, quick, done. I just came home and got like about an hour or so of work done, and now I'm gonna head off to my nail appointment. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I'm leaning towards something like, more natural, like a milky white or like a baby pink or something like that. So we'll see. I'm gonna bring my Kindle 
because I need to get my oil changed later and it's like one of those drive through places. I'm gonna bring my headphones. I'm gonna grab another mask just because like everyone else in there wears masks. And it's always good to just protect yourself and others. So I'm gonna do that. And then just had some breakfast, so I'll be okay. I don't think I'll need to bring a snack. I might like swing by and grab some lunch. Oh, I do need to bring my laptop, duh, because I will be going to my Apple store appointment. And that is pretty much it. So let's head out and get some more stuff done today. Okay, just got out of my nail appointment. That was so nice, very refreshing. I went for more of like a natural look, but with some chrome. I got the bubble bath shade by OPI, and then I got unicorn chrome over the top. So just something a little, little different, little extra, little extra pizzazz to like a natural nail. So that's good. This is my real nails, obviously. And then I just get the builder's gel, I think it's called, or sometimes it's called the foundation, but it's just like a harder gel, but not like acrylic or dip or anything like that. So it's like slightly flexible, but it just lasts a lot longer on me. And I usually get my nails done, I don't know, every four weeks, three to four weeks. I would say probably closer to three weeks, actually. God, my freaking glasses are filthy so okay that's done and over with now i'm gonna head to the mall because that's the closest apple store to me unfortunately and i am going to drop off my computer at the apple store because my laptop is basically like overheating a lot like really really badly and the fan is on like 24 7 and i mean i've had it for a few years so i don't know if it's gonna be time to upgrade it um i have no idea and then like a year and a half ago actually almost two years ago i spilled water on it but then it got repaired and so i don't know anyways we're gonna see i've got no idea what they're gonna say but we are gonna find out together so let's head to the mall drop that off and then unfortunately get my oil change which is my least favorite thing to do I do have to leave my laptop for like a day or two at the Apple store, but that's okay. Should all be good. Everything looks okay. I'm just walking around the mall. Got me a boba. I got a strawberry smoothie with brown sugar boba because they were out of strawberry. I'm having a great time. Now it's time to get my oil changed. Let's do it. Hello, it is actually a few more days later now. It's crazy, I was just looking back at this footage and I was out and about all day the other day. Like I think I was gone, my Botox appointment was at 9.30 in the morning and then I think I got home from getting my oil changed at like 4.30 and I'm like, what was I doing all day? I mean, running errands in LA is just such a different experience than running errands anywhere else because it will take you all day long to do like four things. It just takes so long to get from place to place and it's just really busy everywhere you go and there's lots of like wait times and stuff but yeah I just was like how was that whole entire day only like 10 minutes or less of footage like five minutes of footage when I was gone for like seven hours or something like that anyways wild to me but um, I thought I would catch up with you and give you a little update it has been two days since I got my Botox and actually I kind of I don't want to make a disclaimer because I don't really feel like it's necessary but there are new people who come in all the time and I just want to make sure that I'm making it clear that I don't think anybody needs injectables I'm 36 years old and this is just something that I'm doing for myself it helps with my confidence and if you feel perfectly confident with your natural skin and you know not doing anything at all I think that's amazing I really Really do I think that's wonderful I think aging is a privilege it is a gift and you know I'm not opposed to that at all but I just kind of wanted to I don't know it's kind of like a no big deal thing to me but for some other people it may not be so anyway here are my results I got something called Juvo I think it's called um, I've had Botox, Dysport, and now this Juvo. It's just kind of depending on what the doctor's office that you go to has. But here is me after day two. So a few less wrinkles in the forehead and then definitely less in the 11s or the frown lines, I think is what they call it. Um, and then I think I'll get full results after two weeks or something like that. But yeah, 
it's already starting to kick in feeling good i did bruise a little bit more this time like i can feel a little bit of tenderness in my brow here and just like you know i don't know thought i would be honest in case you were um, considering getting it i am not trying to influence anyone i'm just sharing my story because i feel like then if you don't disclose that you've had something done then someone may take it as like oh my gosh look she has no wrinkles or whatever and like compare yourself or think that your skin is worse than someone else's i do that all the time so just for transparency that's why i shared it in this vlog Anyways, I thought I would take you outside to the little back patio because we did end up updating our little garden over the last weekend. This vlog has literally spanned for like almost a week. But anyways, let's show you what we what we got up to. Okay, so we haven't like officially, Drew just watered back here too, so it's a little messy. We haven't like cleaned up yet, like we still have some more sweeping to do and we need to like pressure wash everything. But here is a little update. Um, if you were here last summer, you will know that we had a caterpillar infestation. It was really bad, but a couple of our plants have survived from last year and they have like revived themselves. So we have our eggplant here, which we are actually growing one, two, I think possibly three upcoming eggplants. And there are like a couple little other buds coming in, maybe four, five. This is way more promising than last year. We actually had to tie this up because it's like sinking down a little bit and this little baby eggplant looks very interesting. So that's one thing. Um, this pepper plant also somehow survived from last year. So we have a couple little baby jalapenos coming in. And then behind that, we got a new one, which is a yellow bell pepper. So that'll be really fun. And then we actually planted a different kind of eggplant right here. This is called black beauty eggplant. So this is one of the new ones. We'll see how this goes. We did sadly, oh God, this lighting. We did have to get a new tomato plant. So sadly the other one did not survive. That was the one that was like really infested with caterpillars, but this new one hopefully will give us some more tomatoes this year, we'll see. Then we have a little herb garden section over here. So this rosemary entirely is all from last year. It all survived, it's doing great, so that's good. We did have to update the basil, which sucks, but this one really got torn up i'm like still every time i come out here i'm like paranoid i'm searching every leaf <laughs> to see if there are caterpillars um and then this one front half of the time also survived from last year so we got one more to plant in the back so we have some english time here and those are our herbs this is drew's little gnome that he got from his best friend his late best friend then for the actual patio we're gonna ignore this dirt pile because again we have more cleaning to do but we have our birds of paradise that uh, looks like a bird just took a dump on so that's pleasant we love that also the landscaper sometimes when he comes back here and trims these bushes he like doesn't move this so he's sliced this up a couple times but that's okay this one's doing great this is from last year actually i think this might have been an indoor plant at one point and then we brought it out here i'm not sure but she's thriving we have this little number this is a new one this is called a hawaiian tea ti i don't know it's so pretty look at that I've never seen these red leaves before, but hopefully it's in the right spot. It's kind of difficult because this patio doesn't get like all day sun, but it does get decent sun at different times. So like this is more like morning light. This is more afternoon light, etc. I actually have no idea what this is. Hello? This is called a Japanese boxwood. So there's that. It's going to be a little tree, I think, or a bush. And that looks so cute. They're doing really well so far. It's been like four or five days since we brought them home. And so far we're, we're doing all right. So that's good then over here in this corner we have this like cool succulent which is huge but it's just like so freaking cool looking it almost looks like a vegetable or like a sea monster or something i like that i think these are called butterfly pea flowers butterfly bush i can't remember drew would know um we haven't planted them in this planter yet but they're just sitting in there and they're doing great then we have these are from last year so we have our succulents here and here this little thing was just left over from another plant so we stuck it in there but yeah these are still good from last year then can you believe this we don't really have anywhere good to hang it right now but we got a strawberry plant and look how cute it is there's already so many strawberries on it look how many more are growing in i'm obsessed i feel like this one is like almost ready to pick. There's a few more in the back as well. This one back here is turning red. So yeah, very excited about this one. And I'm a little nervous because we're going out of town. So everyone, keep your fingers crossed for all of these babies to be okay. <laughs> then we have, we had to replant uh, what was in this pot. I can't remember, but we just did some more succulents and just made like a fun little succulent garden. So we'll see how this one does. This one I think was left over from last year. We're gonna ignore this 
the outside is rough, okay? We don't own this place, so there's not, there's not much we can do other than just like clean it up. But I think this might be leftover from last year. I can't remember, but that one's good. And then this one is definitely leftover, our aloe, and she's doing great. Side note, did anyone else who grew up in Arizona have an aloe plant in their yard? And every time they like got a cut or a sunburn, their parents would make them go like cut a piece and like rub it on their skin. <laughs> is that like a universal Arizona or maybe California, West Coast, whatever kid thing? Cause that was something we did a lot as kids. And then last but not least, we have have this little guy which is um it used to be i believe our hibiscus tree it really kind of died in the winter but it does feel like it's coming back to life we have a lot of new growth happening here we have a pod which is very freaky and interesting plants kind of scare me sometimes i'm like are y'all aliens oh and then this one on the little table i just wanted to give her some more sun this is another succulent and yeah that's kind of the update that's the the back patio garden tour i love having this back patio honestly this is like one of the best parts about having this apartment just taking advantage of having this space especially in like a big city has been so so nice like we'll turn on the little where are they we'll turn on like the fairy lights and stuff and it's just such a vibe back here i love this space it's not the quietest thing in the world because we are in a city so it's like you have the escape of being in the backyard but it is still kind of noisy so sometimes it's like awkward like my neighbors have their windows open all around so they can hear everything i'm saying you know so that's a little awkward i just don't want to disturb but anyways that's our updated back garden tour back patio tour all right so the plan for the rest of today it's about three o'clock now i've been doing just like a bunch of computer work all day um the plan for now is i have about two hours until i need to leave my house i'm meeting one of my friends tonight for a little wine night we haven't done that and like honestly i don't think yet this year which is crazy we're going to like one of our favorite wine bars and i'm um, getting some dinner beforehand it'll be great and then before that i need to finish editing this vlog upload it make my thumbnail um i'd love to be able to squeeze in a main channel video we will see that feels kind of ambitious but that's kind of my hope and then i'll probably start a new vlog so anyways don't mind me in my squeaky chair it's driving me insane i have uh, I have like a viral products follow-up video coming up sometime in the next like month or so because I really wanted to give myself time to use all these products and then like determine whether or not I thought they were worth the money and this chair, I'm telling you, it's driving me insane. But I did recently just get some rubber washers. I'm gonna try to put some washers under the screws in hopes that that will help the little squeaking. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I am going to hunker down and really try to get as much work done as possible. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. The fact that you just wanna like hang out and watch me run errands and talk about the most, you know, mundane silly boring things means so much to me it really really does so i hope you know that it absolutely makes my day seeing your comments and just all the wonderful things you say makes me the happiest girl in the world i really really do appreciate you thanks so much for being here and i will see you very soon in the next vlog